as you can see by the title today is kind of like a little bit of a life update thing um i am getting surgery like officially and i'm really scared also i know i kind of look like crap today ignore my hair i'm gonna get done tomorrow but um i i have to get surgery to get my gallbladder removed um basically it just kind of decided to stop working <laughs> It, um, I had a, I had this thing called a HIDA scan where they, um, they test your gallbladder to see how well it is functioning. And what your gallbladder does is it helps you digest fats. It's attached to your liver, um, and there's a little duct, um, attached to your liver that allows, like, like bile from your liver to fill into your gallbladder, and then your gallbladder empties into your small intestine and helps you digest food, specifically fats. Um, um, I'm not a doctor, so I don't want to like go over like what like oh symptoms are what to look out for And if you have this you definitely have a gallbladder issue. No, this is just like what my issue was um, You um, if you're in the same situation as me, um, you'll get very nauseous for no reason it seems like um, You have a lot. I'll, I'll get a, like a lot of pain like right at the top of my rib cage right here um, so girls right under your girls um, and um, it's right it's just right there kind of at the very top of your um, rib cage ish um, and it kind of and it wrap can wrap around to your back like the pain can be like on the side wrap around to your back to like right under your shoulder blade um, so you have like random pains it it's usually after I eat, but it can happen completely out of nowhere, like just random, it just decides to act up. Um, I could be fine one day, like nothing's bothering me, no symptoms, nothing, and then out of nowhere I'll get really nauseous, really sick to my stomach, lots of pain for no reason. Um, so I went to, went to the doctor for a while, but they finally sent me for a HIDA scan, and you sit under this thing, it's like a giant camera, um, and at first it like, they inject you with this like radioactive stuff I can't remember what it's called but it um, so they can see how quickly your um, gallbladder is filling with bile and they said something only like 20% of people have a filling issue um, so that took about 45 minutes they came back and told me that it was filling just fine so they gave me this like really fatty sugary drink that I had to drink it was like you know those like insure um, like protein shakes I'll put one here um, it's like what they make like old people drink or they make you drink if you have to gain weight um, so I had to drink one of those cuz like really high in fat and so um, I drank that really quickly had to lay back down underneath this camera so they could see how quickly um, my gallbladder was emptying so basically there's a normal range which he said is 50% I don't really know what that means um, and then it goes to borderline, which I think was somewhere around like 30 or 35%, and then anything below that is abnormal. Um, and just from like looking at the test that day, he said that it looks like, oh, borderline. Um, and then when I got the test back, they were like, yeah, you have borderline gallbladder functioning, which basically means that it's, it's slowing down. Um, eventually, if I let this go and didn't, um, didn't get it fixed, it would just kind of progressively slow down and I'm assuming would just kind of stop and go into that abnormal range at some point which is not good you don't want that so um, my doctor told me that I need to go see a surgeon and I just went there today I had my point my um, pre-surgery consult to set up the um, appointment for the surgery and um, I'm getting it taken out in two weeks less than two weeks today is September 4th I'm getting it out on September 17th so a little bit under two weeks and I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm really nervous. I have been put to sleep twice. I don't like it. I do not like the feeling of being put under. It creeps me out that it is like uncontrollable. You can't control anything about the fact that you're being put to sleep and that like when you're being put to sleep people are doing things to you that like if you were awake would be really really painful and like I get that's why they put you to sleep but it just like the idea of it just it just creeps me out. I don't like it. Um, so I'm really nervous about that, but I'm also kind of happy. I feel like that sounds weird. I told my mom that I feel like I'm like the first person in history that's ever been happy to hear that they need surgery because I've been having these issues for so long 
I'm pretty sure this is what's been going on since I was in high school. And if you watched, if you didn't watch my um, body image weight journey video, go watch it. I'll put it in the, in the description below because I mentioned a little bit about this. But I basically, in high school, started having really intense digestive issues. Like things would randomly make me feel sick. I'd get pain, like for no reason. I um, mean, they did actually halfway test me for my gallbladder back in high school. They only tested the first part, which is the filling part, which if 20% of people have that issue and the other 80% have the other problem, which is what I ended up having and they didn't test me for that back then. I feel like this has probably been going on since then and it's just now starting to like really crap out on me. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I'm kind of hopeful that it might make this whole thing go away, like what I've been dealing with since high school. I'm really hopeful that it'll just get rid of all of that. Um, and I'll be able to like eat normally and I won't get sick for no reason and I won't like, I don't know, I'm like kind of like nervous excited about it because I have been dealing with this for so long and I, I'm hopeful, I feel like this is going to take care of like 90% of my problems. It'd be really, really nice because like before, I mean the last couple months is when this really flared up, but I mean for years I will... Um, randomly get sick for no reason like not like stomach flu sick but just like really really nauseous for absolutely no reason like I won't have a fever I won't have any other symptoms except I just got really nauseous for no reason I know this isn't too horribly exciting but um, I kind of wanted to share that kind of like my my journey I feel like I look really tired and I am tired I just spent my last class looking at a computer and I didn't wear my glasses so my eyes are really tired. <laughs> so I would appreciate if you guys would send me, you know, positive vibes, good thoughts down in the comments or just um, send good vibes my way. It'd be really nice because I am nervous. I don't like hospitals. The idea of surgery makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> so it'll be interesting. But go ahead and leave me a like and a comment and support if you want to. Hit the red support button. You don't have to, but it would be wonderful. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.